What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to three more movie trailers. These movies are going to be coming out this coming March, and they include Captive State, Dumbo, and Captain Marvel. So we're going to start off with Captive State. Let's check out the movie trailer. Oh, he's in this movie, okay. The state of our union is strong. What I read about it is... It's an alien movie? It's the lowest in Aliens took over, basically. But I'm not getting that feel yet, though. It doesn't have that... feeling to it. Okay. But I haven't seen any aliens yet. Looks very weird. I don't know. I don't really get it too much. Very interesting trailer. But I don't get the alien part. Okay, I get it now. It's very subtle though. It's not like it was described to be. Okay, so that was the movie trailer for Captive States. Now, it seems very mysterious. It doesn't explain much in this trailer, and I'm kind of curious of what it's all about, because what I read about it is it's supposed to be where aliens came and they're living among us now. They are pretty much in control, which I don't really get in that trailer. I don't have that sense at all in the trailer. Of course, you've seen something floating that in the early part of the trailer kind of like it was on a beach uh, and then you of course seen the alien creature whatever it was uh, nearing the end but throughout the movie trailer you don't see any aliens you don't really get a sense of what's happening it's basically all confusion it looks like the government or the militaries are trying to control people so the aliens don't harm anyone I i'm not really sure what's going on in this trailer at all because there's not much information for this trailer that they show in the trailer at least i'm gonna have to give it like a three out of ten rating just because it looks like it's something that you're gonna have to watch to get all of the details to kind of connect everything of what the movie is about but they couldn't really put much in a trailer the next trailer we're going to be watching is going to be for captain marvel let's check it out So, scrolls are the bad guys. Uh-oh. Oh! I was not expecting that. It, uh... Oh, I can't remember which movie it was. Where there's an old lady that turned out to be evil. Um, as part of it. I don't know. That was really cool, though. Marvel lately do a great job with their trailers, though. So, I'm excited for this. Began the day it nearly ended. We found you. So is she like an With alien? No memory. We made you one of us. So you could live longer, stronger, superior. I don't know. You were kind of confused. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. It does seem like it's set farther back in time. It's not in modern day. That's a yes or no question. Yes. And he's Nick Fury in uh, the Marvel Universe. So it, it seems like it's set back in the 80s, early 90s, because of the vehicles, of course. But yeah. Samuel L. Jackson plays Nick Fury. So, in the Marvel Universe. So maybe this is pre-Nick Fury, before he became Nick Fury. And this kind of tells a story about Captain Marvel. Before all that. And I think that supervillain died in Guardians of the Galaxy 1. I'm gonna end it. I'm really curious. It does look really good. It looks action-packed, which is what I love in 
movies and especially Marvel, that's what you expect to see. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Gary. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check this one out. Yep, for sure. So that was the movie trailer for Captain Marvel, but like I said while I was watching the trailer, it does seem like it's not modern day based on the vehicles, everything that's happening, and because Samuel L. Jackson currently in the Marvel Universe is Nick Fury, to me it seems like it's back in the 80s or early 90s. It will be exciting to see everything that happens because this honestly looks action packed. It looks amazing. And you guys know I love Marvel movies. So this one here, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because it looks amazing. I'm definitely gonna be checking this one out. I can't wait to watch it. But we do have one movie trailer left to watch and that is for the new remake for Dumbo, which whenever I was a kid, I loved the animated version. So let's check this one out to see if it compares. I'm really looking forward to this one. Okay, that makes more sense why they're zooming in on the castle. I was wondering that. I don't know how this is going to fit with modern day though, because they don't have circuses anymore. They kind of took that out for animal abuse. No matter how small. So it is going to be like a throwback. And because it's live action. <laughs> yep, that's Dumbo. Wow, they nailed that spot on. I'm really excited for this movie. Is that Danny DeVito back there? Is he like the uh, circus leader? I'm not sure what they were called. Yep, yeah, that's him. I think him with this role is going to be amazing. What's happening? Where are they taking her? Take Dumbo back inside. But she's his mom. Do something. What? She needs us. Look at me. We're gonna bring your mama home. <sighs> That's cute. This one, this movie's getting me right in the feels right now. He doesn't look like magic to me. Just because I loved the uh, animated version, the original one back when I was a kid. So the fact that it's live action usually ruins that for me. But this live action looks amazing. And it seems more emotional than the animated version felt. You can do it, Dumbo. Show him. Is he gonna do it? Oh, it burns down? No way. Is that, uh... I'm really excited for this. Like, I have goosebumps. I'm so excited. Okay, so this was the movie trailer for Dumbo. I am super excited for this movie. I literally have goosebumps watching this trailer. It was so good. It was a throwback to my childhood. I loved the original animated version for Dumbo, and this looks spot on. It looks even more emotional than the animated version was back then. So I'm definitely gonna be probably tearing up when I watch this movie in theaters. So it looks very well done. I think they did an amazing job casting everybody for the roles. It does look amazing. It looks well put together and it does feel like they are telling the exact story from the original animated version. It's just, it's live action and it looks phenomenal. I'm really excited for this one. I'm going to give this movie trailer a nine out of 10 rating because I am amped up and it's the first movie trailer that I reacted to that I actually have goosebumps from it. I can't wait for this movie to come out. I am so excited. I'm ready to watch it and relive part of my childhood. So out of these three movies, I'm super excited for Dumbo. I'm really excited for Captain Marvel as well, because you guys know I love superhero movies. But for Captive State, it is one that I'm definitely going to be checking out and seeing the bigger picture for it, because the movie trailer didn't give it any justice. It didn't explain much of what's going to be happening during the movie. So hopefully watching the movie itself, it does put all the pieces together. But right now, I'm more excited for Captain Marvel and Dumbo. So out of these three movie trailers, which one are you most excited for? Let me know down in the comments below and I will leave this video here. Like I said, moving forward in 2019, I will be doing more videos like this because it's something I really enjoy doing. I love checking out movies and watching movie trailers. So by doing it for a video, it makes me really excited for the movie.
Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.